Hey everybody, this is Dave Clark, aka The Pattern Guy. Uh, welcome to another Chalk Talk. Today we're going to be doing a lot more talking than chalking. Um, we're going to do the Groner video, Everybody Hates Safety. Um, being a first responder, uh, I was a volunteer fireman, or volunteer police officer um, before I got started uh, doing all this stuff here. So uh, I don't know if you guys watched the first video. I volunteered for a police department for 13 years, so I got safety driven into me there. Uh, we worked a lot with the fire department, okay? So that's where we got the fire thing in my head, okay? And then when I worked over at Ford, um, you know, first week at Ford, it was just safety. That's all we did. We never made it back to the pattern shop. And then um, once a week at Ford, we had a safety slash communications meeting once a week. Uh, the beginning of the shift, everybody would get in the one room and, and we'd have a talk. And it, it was primarily safety. Um, then we had to do the big safety thing. Uh, we had to do six hours a year at Ford. So... You know, safety's been driven into me hugely. Uh, I take it very seriously um, from my police, you know, uh, experience and that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some of the basic things, and then I'm going to tell you some of the experiences I've had with uh, some safety issues. Uh, I tell you that I ramble a lot, okay? Uh, my blubber, so hopefully I got a story to tell. Hopefully I won't start blubbering too here, but anyhow... To begin with safety, you know, this is geared towards younger guys that haven't been in shops and, uh, you know, it's just, we're just going to do some general stuff because, it, you know, safety, just like drawing last week, I could sit here for eight hours for a whole week, okay? So basically, if you're working in a shop, especially a pattern shop where band saws, table saws, things like that, number one rule is if... You know, somebody's working on a machine, don't come up behind them and scare them. You know, that guy or girl is concentrating on cutting something or sanding something on the sander. You know, you're concentrating on that. You get somebody come up behind you and, hey, Joe, how's it going? You know, you get scared and, you know, there goes your fingers in the bandsaw blade. Okay, so don't do that stuff. So, so basically, you know, starters, you know, always keep your mind on what you're doing. Okay. Uh, it's hugely, hugely important in shops, you know, like I said, especially pattern shops, there's a lot of machinery, pretty much every machine in the shop can bite you, all right, and some worse than others, okay, uh, band saw, table saw, if you cut a finger off, you know, hopefully they can sew it back on, right, but if you're working on the joiner or the router, it's not going to get sewn back on and, and for instance my dad okay so my dad's a pattern maker also and uh, I, I don't know how many hours that that guy's had on machines I mean hundreds of thousands of hours on machines okay and um, he, he actually was a subject of uh, one of our safety talks at Ford he had worked there um, nine years before I started there so a lot of guys that uh, you know, worked there when I worked there, worked with my dad, right? So that week, I got a telephone, I just got into work. My uh, wife called up the shop, an emergency phone call, and uh, this was before cell phones too, believe it or not. Um, she called, said my dad cut a couple fingers off. So I was like, uh, you know, what happened? She goes, I don't know, something on the router, maybe they could sew them back on, and it, there, there's no way, you know. So I went back home, and sure enough, you know, Went to the hospital, um, you know, he cut a couple fingers off. So w when I went, my mom asked me to go home and clean up. When I got to her house, I was in the garage where his shop was, and I couldn't believe it. And I, I'd seen numerous bad accidents at the police department and that. Uh, those old horror movies where they, they're slashing people and blood splatter all over the wall, it was everywhere. I mean, there was blood everywhere. So it just, and I don't want to gross people out stuff. I'm trying to do this to, to get it into your head, okay? So just, you got to keep your mind on what you're doing. Most accidents in shops happen on Mondays 
and Fridays, okay? You're thinking Friday, what you're gonna be doing over the weekend, gonna go hang with my girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. Keep your mind on what you're doing, okay? Mondays, you're thinking about, oh, that was a great weekend, okay? Keep your mind on what you're going. All right, now another thing, watch these things. Watch when you're pushing things through the bandsaw, okay? You know where your line is on line with that blade, okay? Don't have your thumb or your fingers in there in line of pushing things, okay? So down the line, every time I get in different machinery, we'll go over the different safety rules for each machine and everything, okay? Um, one of the things you might want to do down the road too, a lot of shops actually require one or two people to uh, learn CPR, you know, so if you can have an opportunity to learn CPR, learn it. I've never had to use it in the shop, but as a police officer, I did use it several times in that, and it, uh, it, it you know, it, that comes in handy, it really does, especially working with those, uh, you know, us old guys, right? So learn some safety, uh, your CPR if you can, basic first aid, you know, do you know what happens if, some guy does cut a couple fingers off, you know, how to, you know, stop the bleeding, things like that, you know. So, like I said, in here what we'll do is, uh, every time we work on a machine, I'll show you the different issues uh, you would have with that particular machine. Um, just general situations I can, I can deal with now. Um, one of the biggest things that people never ever think about is, when you're machining different uh, jobs and that you have holes and multiple holes, keep your fingers out of the holes. I, I've literally seen a few people put their finger in a hole and the machine's running and it runs into something. Uh, two plates coming together, somebody put your finger in the hole, that plate's coming on, it's going to take your finger right off. Okay, um, all the different machinery you're using. Uh, a lot of stuff is battery operated now, right? So here's from experience. A friend of mine worked at Ford, uh, saw him up the aisle, I'm walking up towards him, he turned around, he had a big bandage on his hand. So I'm like, oh, what, what happened to your, to your hand? He goes, I cut a finger off. And he used to do construction on the side. So he goes, yeah, you know those battery operated saws? I said, yeah, the little toy, right? That little battery operated saw. Okay, and he started laughing, he goes, yeah, that's exactly it, it's just a little, you think it's a toy, but it's not. It cuts a 2x4, this thing isn't as sturdy as a 2x4, right? So you got to watch everything. Drills, you don't think that they're, you know, that, that hazard as they are. Cutoff wheels, uh, when you're using the 4-inch cutoff grinders, my first boss would not let us use those in the shop at all, period, okay? They're getting more and more popular. Um, they are, they're great, but they are unbelievably dangerous. Um, you know, one of the biggest things I didn't say right out the bat, one of the biggest things is that, you know, glasses, okay, keep glasses on your head. All right, like I said in the one video, these are regular glasses. I just got in a bad habit of wearing regular glasses. Um, you know, get you a pair of these safety glasses, I got a few pair of them up in the cabin up here. They're a little dusty. When people come in this shop, before they use a machine, they, they put safety glasses on, okay? So another thing, yeah, watch out, like the different chemicals we use too. So um, all shops, I mean, I'm, I'm my own guy. I don't have to have uh, material safety data sheets in here. If you work in a shop, you gotta have them. Use them, look at them, okay? It's, it's very important because a lot of chemicals you don't, uh, if you put like ammonia and bleach together, that's, you know, kitchen products. A lot of ladies, they don't know, they're never taught, you know, they'll be trying to clean something, ammonia and bleach together, it just, it doesn't work. You know, you, you get uh, fumigated really bad, you know, so. Um, we'll, like I said, we'll get into some more things. Uh, one of the biggest um, safety things, like I said, the, the, the biggest thing you really, really got to, uh, you just got to keep your mind on what you're doing for more reasons than one. It's a safety thing and you, you got to concentrate on what you're doing to make sure you're doing it correct, okay? 
So, like I said, with the weekend things going, um, one of the worst things that I've ever seen um, when I was at Ford, okay, I was on, I had a partner, uh, my, my partner, uh, Blaine, um, we had worked outside and then we, we ended up partners at, at Ford, all right? So we were in a section where we did, uh, we repaired fixtures. All right, we'll get into fixtures one of these days. Um, Blaine and I, our fixtures were on, uh, what it was was there was a core machine on each side and they would make the cores and manipulator would put the core into our fixture clamp it together and blow more sand to make one one solid core okay this was the engine blocks as a cylinder cores okay so what we worked on was the fixture it was in the middle of the two core boxes and there was one on each end of a table and it would rotate back and forth our piece of equipment, I think it weighed like 4,000 pounds. Uh, the table was pretty big and it got from the front of the machine to the back of the machine like, like that. I mean, literally a second. I mean, that thing flew, had this big hydraulic cylinder on it, right? So we got a call. Uh, we would work on them in the shop, but on occasion we'd have to go out into the foundry to, uh, you know, work on these um, fixtures in that. So we went out there and uh, um, he was a guy that would rotate when guys were taking, he's a relief guy is what they, they called him, okay? So a real nice guy. Um, he called us out there to, to look at a, a piece of our equipment. We go out in the shop and... Um, it was him. I don't want to mention his name, but you know he was out there, and yeah, we got along. I mean, I worked with this guy for six years, so we go out there. We did our repair, and Blaine and I would always stay out there and make sure it would cycle a couple times before um, you know we take off back in the shop, make sure everything is working fine, right? So. Uh, this guy was telling us it was a Friday night, weekends we were working afternoons. Um, it was about seven, eight o'clock at night, and uh, he was telling us how he you know, said, "Hey, look, if I don't see you guys, I'm I'm retiring Tuesday. Tuesday is my last day." So I was like, "Oh, wow, that, that that's something, you know." He had, uh, he's like, "Yeah, I just you know had a house built down in Florida." He goes, "I just picked up my Corvette this you know weekend or th th that day." And then couldn't wait to go driving that weekend for, uh, you know, take his new car out for a spin and that. So Blaine and I go back down in the shop and we were down there for about 10, 15 minutes. And um, we had a, their own, Ford had their own fire department and they had what was called a ERT team, an emergency response team. And some of our powder makers were, were on the emergency response team. So they went, three of the guys went running out the door. And uh, about two minutes later, one of them came back as white as a ghost. I knew this guy real well. Uh, our shop was on the outside of the, the building, too. So um, I, I'm like, hey, what, what's going on? He's like, hey, somebody got killed up in um, TME, the section that it was in. And I'm like, well, no way, you're joking. So I knew pretty much everybody in TME because that was the section I took care of. So I'm like, who was he? Because I, I don't know who it was. So uh, to make a long story short, it was a relief guy. Um, what had happened, it, it took a while to figure out what happened in that. But the table that would rotate back and forth, um, we had developed, basically Blaine and I and the engineers there, um, we all got together, we developed a way to do some repairs on the, on the tubs that we were, key core tubs that we worked on, on the machine. So we did the lockout, tag out for certain aspects of the machine. We took, uh, I think the electrical off, the hydraulic off, and, but we'd have to have uh, pneumatic air pressure. I think no electric stayed on because uh, we had to check with the computer in it. But what we would do is we'd put that big pin in the table and it was an inch or two and a half inch thick pin so the table wouldn't rotate okay so in i don't know how many times that guy too uh i went to go in the machine you know he grabbed me and said hey look you've got to put the pin in you know so we put the pin in you know 
So what had happened was he had his mind on retiring. He had his mind on going riding in the car the next day and you know heading down to Florida next week. And uh, he forgot to put that pin in. And uh, he ended up, you know, that was it. He just uh, manipulated some of the devices on the machine. He actually opened up a clamping system in there. And what happened, it told the computer, he didn't have anything locked out. That told the computer to rotate the tables. So you can imagine, um, you know, what happened there. Uh, so it, it's very important. This is where I take safety service. I've had uh, numerous incidents, you know, at Ford Motor Company, you know, one guy lost his life. Um, and, you know, working at the police station, there was numerous times, yeah, you know, I've seen people expire there too. And, uh, Thing, thing is, it, it's you know, especially working at the police department. I don't want to get into politics and that too, but it's if you look at police officers, been getting a bad rap lately. But look, guys, with these guys, most of them, okay, most all police officers, they're gonna risk their life to save your life, okay. And the bummer of that is, is nine times out of ten. Police officer or firemen are risking their life because you're doing something you weren't supposed to do in the first place, all right? So you're asking me to put my life on the line for something stupid you're doing. Okay, so always think about what you're doing, okay, especially in the shop when there's rotating things, you know, spinning blades on a table saw. When you're pushing things through the table saw, guys have a tendency to keep your thumbs out. Watch where these things are. Watch where these things are, okay? Uh, just keep your mind on what you're doing at all times. It's very important to keep your mind on everything, okay? So, like I said, it's a little bit of an overview. It's a groaner. Everybody hates safety things, but what we'll do is, you know, every time I get onto something, we'll show you a little bit more specific uh, instances with, with uh, safety on each machine, all right, guys? So, uh, Saturday, we're going to... Uh, Start building a pattern, okay? Um, get that going. Uh, we'll do a little safety with that, okay? Um, I don't know what we're gonna do after that. We'll, we'll start building a pattern Saturday. I don't know what we're gonna do for a chalk talk, but we'll see you uh, Sunday then, all right? Have a good one, guys.